Welcome back, folks. We're here for another edition of the Duck Call Room. We have a little in-studio audience with us today. They are little. By popular demand from one episode in the past. I don't remember. It's been a few ago. Uh, you guys wanted to meet the Gar Commanders, so here the Gar Commanders are here. You have got your They're wish. Here. Johnny D brought the Gar Commanders, and I can only assume from the smell in here they brought gifts. Yeah, they so, brought they brought mm, food. I was I I want to preface this. I made all their parents tell me it was okay because I didn't want to get like pulled over and have a bunch of junior high kids in my car that don't belong to me. Yeah, that'd be weird. So we're, we're approved. They can just ride around with me all day now. Okay. And part B, he brought uh, what only the Gar commander would eat with him. And I've told him I'm going to try it because I once threw up eating Vienna sausage on here. So might as well. But anyway, opening weekend of duck season is now past us. It's now yep. beyond us. Si, how did you have fun this yep. weekend? It was we fun. Actually, yeah. We actually had a good hunt. You what? went? Yeah. 25. Well, 14 gadwalls, uh, five green wing teal, and five, a shoveler, four, a jack, and three. four woodies. How about that? That I did not see 14 gadwalls. So good, good. Oh no, on we you. had about five bunches. Yeah. You know? that's good. Yeah, it was a good duck hunt. It's good. been it's been good, especially it's, since there is no water. But you know what yeah. I heard in there? I heard enough teal and enough woodies to know. It's going to be pretty good eating for oh, a little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a good yeah, thing. The duck and dressing will be ready. Will be awesome. Well, we ate it yesterday, so it's fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went hunting with my, we had our daughter, daddy hunt. Did you? Deer hunt. Johanna shot her a big doe. There you go. There you go. And I went, look, I went to scan it. And she said, no, I want to do it. So she got up there and cut it, and I hey. showed her, quartered it up, cut the back straps out, got in there and got the tenderloin. I was going, she said, no, nah, I want to learn it. <sighs> I mean, she got that. She was all on that concrete just getting all that meat off the neck. I hey. said, you don't need She said, that's my meat. I'm taking it. I hey. said, yep. okay. Look, we got home, and her husband looked at her after we was telling them what she'd done, and uh, she <laughs> He said, I'm a little concerned at your skills. <laughs> she said, <laughs> she looked at him and said, yeah, you, ain't, you don't need to worry about daddy no more. <laughs> <laughs> worry about me, big dog. <laughs> uh, that was pretty awesome. That's, that's fantastic. I always enjoy we're getting together and doing that. We may have to get Johanna on here sometime because she kind of got a flair for the eccentric. Yeah. 100%. She's the oh, yeah. only person I know with a shoulder mounted dough. Yep. Does Mar she? Maria. Mar and she named it? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And she dresses it up. Hey, yeah. hello. She, she changes got... Maria with a holiday. Oh, oh yeah. hey, look. Oh, I got a picture of it. Uh -huh. That's a real deal there. Yeah, she, send yeah, it to, send it to I'm Johnny. Need, I'm yeah. going to need photographic yeah, evidence. Yeah, we need, we need the proof of so this. So she killed a doe. Because I saw Miss Paula share the picture. How far this is good. off was it, yeah. Gala? How, how long? Shot, how long? Shot? Yesterday? Yeah. Good good shot. 150, 175. 150, okay. Good shot, then. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Yeah, she can shoot. Okay. Yeah, don't mess with that girl. Mm. But yeah, that she'll key. Uh, hey. <laughs> She's the uh, time tell me, hey, I got a knife. Don't bother me. Uh, <laughs> That's man. Paula Godwin's daughter. I ain't messing with her. No, guaranteed. Guaranteed. No, the out of the Godwin family, I would mess with Godwin first. One hundred percent. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> yeah, I if I'm picking a fight with any of them. Yeah, I'm gonna start with Godwin and and hopefully I ain't got to get no further than that, because Miss Paula Whoopi now she uh, but this picture is fantastic. I, so she just dressed it up like what is Rudolph, but it ain't got no antlers. No, no, this one wasn't Rudolph. You'll see here shortly. Don't need them. You'll see. This get is, it. This is worth waiting for. What? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's Maria. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Look at her ears. No, she's proud of it. <laughs> that's, that's legitimately that's just good. a big old doe. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I asked God that's, when that's he, Maria. I asked him when he told me about her killing this though. I said, Well, do you have to do you have to cape this one out too? He said, No, she didn't want another one. But shoulder hey, mounted she's got though. false eyelashes on her. Oh yeah. It does. It yeah, does. I saw yeah. that. Oh, she fired up. Oh, I love it. She killed a doe and put earrings on it. I love it. it. Look, she lets all the bucks pass because she's looking for a cold six point. She don't want a big one. She wants a cold six point. Oh no. 
Mm-hmm. She is the exact I, opposite I, of Paula. Go well, ahead. no, no, because hey, you know, something with character. Yeah, that's what you want. I like BK. BK killed one that was nine years old, six Ooh. point, mm-hmm. huge six point. There you go. And nine years old to boot. Yeah. Hey, hey, ain't nothing uh, better. Well, BK hey. half spoiled. She done killed bigger oh, deer. What are you talking about? She's ruined. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she she the last she's stone one. cold too. Yeah. She don't even like. No, she needs to take a basket weaving. Whoa, at this point. was that thunder? That's that a, was sound like a rumble. Yes, that's that's yeah. it. That's them naders. That's them November naders. I didn't know if here. we need rain. Opened yeah. up in that pit blind over. No. <laughs> no. No. Is that hey. good for duck hunting? This Crazy. no. Though, no. if it's really bad weather, no, but I'm going to say I don't care because we need the water. Oh, you know? no. So rain, baby, was, rain. Yeah, if I it's was got, say. If it's got to have thunder and lightning with it, then yeah. that's fine. I'm not yeah, going to gripe about good. how we get it. We need but water. It'll run the ducks off. We overnight. do need water. So it is. Are we uh, in a drought? It oh, feels yeah, very we're in drought. We are in a drought. It's like D3 or something. I yeah. mean, it was like to the level yeah. of, I mean, like bad, bad, bad. Yeah. So everything dry. Like one of the places I was walking across this weekend that we were hunting, the cracks in the ground didn't even seal up. Yeah. So like you're walking across it and you're still stepping in the cracks of the ground. So yeah, if we were to like dry. turn our pump off, it would be dry in probably two days. Oh yeah. There ain't like, no water anywhere. There, no. No. So the no. fact that the cracks you ain't ever, sealed yet. You ever wonder how deep them cracks are? No. I I don't because they, I don't want to know what lives in them either. Well, like, no, no. <laughs> hey, you need to do that though. If when you're pumping, because men fill the pump, you know, start to pump up, and it was a drought year '99, matter of fact. You know, and and we've been he's pumping three weeks. Okay, so well, we need to go check the water see where it's at. So we're going down there. I said, well, you think it's too late? And he said, well, no, I don't know. It may be, but I doubt it. All right, we got to walking down, and like you were talking about, we're looking through the woods, okay, where the water runs, and it it, it it's an eerie feeling because you're wondering about if you, are are you losing your balance or something? Because <laughs> it it's, it looks like everything's moving. The trees are look like they move. Son, you talking about a lot of junk living in them cracks. <laughs> <laughs> Between the ants and the oh, spiders, oh, and the snakes, the spiders, and, snakes, bugs. I mean, good night. And just hey, they, they, everywhere you there. look, it was moving. And look, we finally come up on there, and look, this thing is that wide. The crack is okay, and the water is just. And I mean, he's pumping thirty six gallons of uh, of you know a minute. Yeah, yeah, thirty six thousand gallons a minute. Yeah, this thing just big around just just blowing yeah, water, just pouring to it. Yeah, and it just hey, it's just you know, and yeah, ain't no baby. water, ain't no water inside nowhere. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a yeah. Garth Brooks song. Yeah. Well, no. is your yeah. window? Yeah. Duck? Hey. yeah, it's like it's shaking the room. Well, That's I fine. hope this does away with the drought. Well, hey, that bad storm. Your windows ain't down. Coming from the west. No. Your windows rolled up, huh? Yeah, mine's rolled up. You ain't got your waders in the back of your rig, do you? No, I got that covered. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is I bad, got you covered. This is a bad My waiters are down at the lair. There you go. Mine's in the back of the truck. Well, let's take a Maxi. break. We'll check on this weather, make sure we don't need to shelter in place or something. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll be back right after this. Hey, you need to factor in a mail delivery food, boys. Uh, That's brilliant. (laughs) Order it, order it, and it appears. That's what factors done. That's what it does. There you go. Look, in this holiday season, we you run around a lot. Look, because holidays for us means hunting season, so they ain't got a lot of time for cooking. That's it. You don't want to deal with a mess when you get home after you woke up at four thirty in the morning. All the things, and that's where Factor, America's number one ready to eat meal delivery service, can help you. Whether you want breakfast, lunch, dinner, it doesn't matter. They're all chef prepared, dietitian approved, ready to eat meals, two minutes. Boom. It's that simple. And they send it straight to your door. So you don't even have to go get anything. And the app makes it super simple. You go through, pick it every week. Look, I'm reading the menu right now jalapeno, lime, cheddar, chicken. When I see it, I get it every week. Uh, Loaded bacon, shredded chicken. Uh That sounds Uh new. Gonna try that one out. Creamy tomato, pork tenderloin. Oh, they got that just good stuff. Well, that one's already sold out. Ah, <laughs> I'm, late. I'm late on that one. Sun-dried tomato and spinach for ceiling. That that's out. good. 
there you go. I have not had a bad thing yet. There and you I've go. been eating it since we started these with these people like a year ago. Yeah. And look, if you're too busy like cooking the big meals at the holidays, let Factor take care of the rest of the time. That way you know you're eating well. So, you know, if you want to overindulge on like Thanksgivings and Christmases and all those things, you can. Because you know you can bounce right back with Factor. You can skip the stress of meal prepping over the holidays. They got 35 choices a week. Flavor packed, fresh, never frozen meals that support a healthy lifestyle. And it's all delivered right to your door. And if you're looking for special occasion meals during the holidays, because, you know, let's face it, maybe you don't want to cook. You can level up with Gourmet Plus options, prepare to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Enjoy premium ingredients like broccolini, links, truffle butter, asparagus, all the good things. Look. And if you're running around all during the day, lunchtime hits, you ain't got time. Lunch to go from Factor. Effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls, salad toppers, ready to eat when you go. No microwave required. And no matter what plan you're on, they got something for you. So if you're a calorie counter, they got you on that um, with calorie smart meals with around 550 calories per serving or less. You need an extra boost to, to help you with your immune system, all the things. They got protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein helping keep you healthy this holiday season. And you can enjoy extra convenience any time of day with an assortment of over 45 add-ons to suit your taste and preferences like breakfast items, apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon cheddar egg bites, potato bacon and egg skillet, or if you want, they got shakes, they got smoothies, they got cold-pressed juices, they got all the things. And with Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice. They offset 100% of delivery emissions, source 100% renewable electricity for production sites and offices. This November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor-packed meals delivered to your door, ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash duck50 and use code duck50 to get 50% off. That's code duck50 at factormeals.com slash duck50 to get 50% off. All right, we're back. Look, we're, we're going to... There ain't no, there ain't no naders close. So I think we can just keep allegedly, on. Uh, yeah, right now. Them things will not. sneak up on you. Yeah, you ever seen Twister? That cow is still <laughs> going somewhere. <laughs> but tornadoes really don't hit West Monroe a whole lot. No, they hit the lake though. They hit the lake. They hit Monroe. Mm-hmm. We was at the lake when that and hit. But you was here that day. We had that one that started basically right here. That ripped the Academy sign down and then tore through downtown Monroe. All oh that yeah. Stuff. I mean, we were. We were sitting there at the front door, the only piece of glass we got in this place, all looking. Yeah, that was dumb. That wasn't <laughs> like, smart. Yeah, we was yeah. in the only place that something could have happened to us. Woo. Uh, but, you know. In our windowless offices. Curiosity we killed a cat. Well, you, I mean, I'm I'm weird. I love watching bad weather. It's weird. It's one of those things. He's a nerd. Yeah, it, 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 it's wow. cool. I mean, now I would rather see a tornado just ripping up an empty field somewhere. Like, don't. Don't kid me. I like I like lightning shows. Do you? Lightning oh, yeah. shows. Yeah, the worst one I've ever seen was in uh, Fort Bragg over in North Carolina. When you see lightning that's wide as the Mississippi River running across the sky. It was that wide? Mm-hmm. It was that wide. And you tell me, scary, the, the, the hair on my head when it come over wow. was sticking straight up like old King. Now that's saying something, Oh you. no, hey! I went, really, I went inside when that happened. <laughs> he said retreat. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, re- I retreated when that happened. Yeah. My wife just died. Life. She said, "You look like King with the afro." And I said, "What?" And I went in there and looked, and my hair was straight up. Oh, Don King. <laughs> yeah, yeah Don I remember. King. I was like King. I was Don Don King. I was thinking Larry King didn't have oh, an afro. I like yeah. donuts. But hey, that you talking about some power. <laughs> You know, to be wide as a Mississippi, and Mississippi is something, you know, a, what, a mile wide some places? Huh? Uh, maybe. Yeah. And it's I just solid lightning. I'm still trying to process why Goblin let us know he liked donuts. There he's a well, he Goblin. said he liked lightning shows. Oh, you just saying stuff you like. Okay, I can appreciate yeah. that. Oh, I like to watch a good lightning. Gone by. You like, right. that, you like that old boy on Anchor Man. Right. Especially like the military when they do a, a live night fire exercise. What? Mm hmm. That's something to see. With the tracers? Oh, with all kinds of yeah. good stuff. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm. Now, bad weather's <laughs> one of them deals. I would. I used to go out and watch. I don't watch it much anymore. Now I got kids, and now I'm like actually worried if something happens to us for some reason. Mm. But Oh, my now, wife's in a closet like I can with all con- our kids right now. Like I can control a tornado coming over yeah, our head. Yeah. Like, oh, I need to Do make something sure. about that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like. 
What do you do? Get in a car. You get in a bathtub and you put a helmet <laughs> yeah. on, and that's the one place I draw the line. Like I like when they're like, "Hey, bad weather's coming through." Nowadays, they can pretty much tell you what neighborhood it's in. Like, mm-hmm. Jared Floyd, shout out. He's good at what he does. He's here busy locally. right now. Yeah, and he's probably on the news telling people, but he'll let you know, like, "Hey, if you're in this neighborhood, probably." T-. And a few times, our neighborhood's been in. Not like I, I'll do most of the things they tell you to do, but I, but I, I ain't putting a helmet on in my house. <laughs> And if I go, who out has a that, helmet in their house? I mean, my favorite part is he just trying to help people save their lives, and then you got people griping on there saying, "Well, why can't I watch NCIS?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. get all big mad yeah. that their show is right. on oh, they do. Yeah. because that nader ain't in their neighborhood. Yeah. So they're like, why did you interrupt and, interrupt my show? Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune was on, Jared. (laughs) Golly, we were on the last one. I don't know if they won the car or not. (laughs) They probably didn't. But, (laughs) no, have you ever seen Jared go off on those people? Oh, yeah, he don't take it. He did one time. Yeah, He's like, I'm sorry, people's lives are in danger in our community. And I think more of that than you watching your stupid show. Yeah, He is good. The price is right. I like old Jared. I am with Sal on one thing. Like, why don't y'all just walk outside? Jet stream. I know, because, hey, they all live in buildings that have no windows. Yeah, just walk and outside. And then they, then they wouldn't, oh, it's a beautiful day, sunshine outside, and, hey, there's a tornado going through the joint, <laughs> and rain is pouring down yeah. four, well, inches, two hours, four inches in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> four yo, inches hey, an hour. Yo, hey, how about just open the window, look outside, and say, it ain't sunny out there, folks. Just raining cats and dogs yeah. and horses and mules. It's going to be dark tonight. Yeah, it's going to be. Today. Yeah. So there you go. The weather. Uh, it is the best job you could ever have. Oh, what? yeah. <laughs> the, being a weatherman. Why? Like somebody pay you to be wrong? Oh, here we go. I'm just saying, like. Well, hey. Like you're not held to any yeah, amount of standards. Yeah. Like, oh, well, I tried. Okay. Yeah. The model said that's what should have happened. Look, Jared Floyd live but, on the Facebook but, right now. But yeah. God said, oh, you know, yeah. that's not what That's that. wicked looking there, boys. Red, yeah. yellow, and green. And it's all headed this way. And it's headed toward us. Mm-hmm. We'll be all right, though. Yeah, we'll be fine. We got I'm Jared inside. Floyd. He'll let us know. Hey, worst case, we got Jesus. I, so. I, I love it. I love it, though. That's watch- even better than Jared Floyd. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hey, right. I love watching weather, especially when you're out in the, in the wild. Yeah, that's what I'm talking road. about. Yeah. Because, look, I've been standing on the cliff on Red River in Dixie, Louisiana, and watched the storm come down the river, just rain. And, look, it stays within the banks of uh, the river. So you was dry? Huh? You oh, were hey, dry? Look, I'm standing on the cliff, and I've done that, and my arm is wet from here to there. No. I'm serious. Quit. Then, look, Quit. And, hey, going down the river, there's a big, giant curve coming, just like Watch Tall River down there at Phil's house. Stop it. No, no, look. Don't you tell me that thing followed that No, curve. no. You would think it would just went straight. No. It come out and it was just like somebody was driving a storm. They just stayed within the riverbank. It was on, on its track. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, no, I'm serious. That was the wildest thing to watch. Mm-hmm. Okay. It so the west different. side of the river wet, hey. the east side dry. Dry. Unbelievable. It, and I mean, hey, it was just like somebody was driving somewhere. Well, these chicks hanging right. Oh, just that was BC before Christ, huh? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It's 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 wild to watch one. Yeah, you know? that's like me and my mother on Lake Powell in Arizona. Mm-hmm. We went fishing. We're going to the boat ramp out in the, just the desert. If we just back off in the lake, and look, here comes a little thunder cloud. That's about 30 yards in a circle, and it's dark black. And under that, it's raining. So this stupid thing comes right by us, okay, raining. And <laughs> we thought we had hit a gas pocket and had was hallucinating. Because we, hey, this storm come by, rain, okay, the desert blooms out, all the flowers, all the cactus got flowers, birds and bees appear out of nowhere. And look, 15 minutes later, it's, it just all folded back up. Sun came out and it said, Sun out. come out and it was just like it never happened. We looked at each other, me and my mother looked at each other and said, did we just hit a gas pocket or something? And was we hallucinating what we just saw? How many times you thought that in your life? I, I, I'm serious. A few. I don't. I believe I ain't. in the hallucination part. What's well, a no, gas, no. What's a gas pocket? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, hey, just you know, the, 
there's gas coming I said seeping BC. all over this this earth we're on. Bubbling out of the ocean, you know, bubbling out of, out of the mountains, cracks and stuff. Well, I'm going to step out. We got the guard oh. commanders in the house. Well, I'm going to let you boys sample their fine cuisine. I, I do have a little bit of work to do with it being duck mm. season, so I'm going to yeah. step out. Y'all do your mm. thing, and I'll be back once the guard commanders are I'll let you know how. Yeah. You're not going to try one for real? No. Why not? I'm, well, maybe. Okay. The, I'm, the I'm, evidence has done been presented. All right. No. We'll all see. Right. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. Doesn't everybody wish they could go to Willy Wonka's Candy Factory? I've always wanted to go. Yeah. Since that place isn't real and, you know, life's all about real things, we got your best version that you can get of that, and that's just going to nuts.com. They got everything you want there. They got classics like butterscotch fudge, licorice. They got bourbon pecans. They got almonds. They dried got mango. Dried mango, crystallized gin ginger dates not the kind you go on the kind you eat jelly beans jawbreakers root beer barrels so you know if you remember them candy stores as a kid where you're like oh so overwhelmed that you couldn't figure out what to get guess what you get to do it all from the comfort of your home right now Boom. and then you can get all the stuff you can get a little sample of this a little sample of that Next thing you know, you're good to go. Your kids are going back to school. You need snacks. They have healthy options for that, too. They got all them specialty flowers. They got We're all We're into that, that at my house. So, look, nuts.com is your one-stop shop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruits, sweets, pantry staples like specialty flowers, and more. Their wide selection means there is something for everyone. Look, nuts.com, they're up with the times. If you're gluten-free, they got you. Organic got you. They even have other diet-friendly products. Whether you're looking for something sweet, savory, or need to stock up on everyday cooking essentials, you're bound to find something to try. At Nuts.com, quality is a top priority. They roast their nuts and pop their corn the same day it ships, so they reach you deliciously fresh. Satisfaction is guaranteed. You can shop a la carte anytime, or you can get auto delivery. So if you find something you love, like, say, man, I'm going to treat myself to that once a month. Boom, you can do it. Or you can just go in there and say, you know, my, this employee's been very good, and I know they love this, and buy them a buy them a treat, give it to them. I mean, the the options are endless. Coming up on the holidays, ain't nobody ever been mad about sweets for the holidays, right? I mean, just take care of you folks. If you're stumped on what to get the person's got everything, find out what their favorite snack is. Get it for nuts.com. You got it. Look, our our favorites, obviously. I love almonds. I love gummy bears. But did you know? Throw them to me. That they will dip a gummy bear in milk chocolate? Uh-huh. I know it sounds weird. It's That's so just because you ain't tried it yet. It's delicious. Look, Goblin, Goblin hasn't stopped since you started this ad. There you go. Now look, he going to be out of that trail mix. We're going to have to re-up on him. So whether it be bourbon pecans, dried mango, you name it, whatever, I, everything I've had has been fantastic. So right now, Nuts.com is offering new customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at Nuts.com slash duck. So go check out all of the delicious options at Nuts.com slash duck. Hey, he quit chewing long enough. Look, you'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's Nuts.com slash duck. Okay, so we have the guard commanders in the house today. We talked about them a few weeks ago because we were talking about eating weird foods, and I was like, I actually know four young boys who are basically redneck. You're Daniel, y'all are as redneck uh, as they come. No, they're yes. re they're redneck. Oh, where they Daniel come from? Boone. Noah, where would y'all where did y'all come from? Where did you come from? Uh, the woods. The woods. The, the woods. Worst. That's not. <laughs> they live in the neighborhood behind the honey hole. Right. Well, that's the woods. That that's is right, the woods. That's the woods. And no, right off of the Washita River. And no, what do y'all do for fun? Uh, trap, fish, hunt. Trap, fish, hunt. They're basically the biggest rednecks I've ever met. Yes. And they, Noah, um, I I met him because he kept coming in how to catch gar, and I don't know. And you give him all the tips you had. Yeah. Don't. Did you give him some manners? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Get, so so y'all are super into catching gar, right? Yes. Because y'all are the gar commanders. Yes, sir. Uh, it's good. How many gar have you caught? Too many to count. Too lot. many to count. Look at this. That ain't a gar. It's a bowfin. We well, need to tell you what a gar is. That. That's my bad. I clicked the wrong one. What, mm. what, what, what was he at? No, that's a gar. Okay. So Carter, in that picture, he had a spear, and we're on the John boat, and he grabs the jug, and Carter, he... Spears it and left a two inch hole in the side of that gar. 
Yeah. I almost fell over. Okay, so yeah. here's mashed up the meat, huh? Oh, yeah. So what's the best? How? What's the best way to cook them thing? Uh, garballs, fry them. And uh, and you brought that with you, right yeah. of which I'm very angry at. When did you cook that? This Today. morning. It was hot when they got in my car with it. My mm. truck. My truck now smells like a garball. I'm gonna. They still hot. Oh, he's they're still, still hot. He's gonna try it. Oh gosh, they're disgusting looking. It's basically oh. like a. Mm -mm. It's a nasty looking hush puppy. You eat these, Noah? Yes, sir. You notice they over oh, there instead yeah. of over here. I'm gonna give them to you. Because I want to see y'all eat them. They're the guard commanders. Mm. I didn't know people actually ate them. Watch that. their face. Watch their face. Watch their face. Do you cook them or your mama cook them? My dad. <laughs> My dad. Who's <laughs> dad? So you, they don't cull anything. It's like a, looks like a crab cake. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, he put it back. He said, no. Carter said, no. no. You don't like it? No. Is it? Do you like it? It's strong. That's amazing. I smell it. Oh, that's strong. Yeah, I'll try one. Because I, I, I smell it from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. The smell is what's getting me. A lot what? of green onion in it. Is that what the secret is? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Onion. You said maybe. So, Noah, you might be the most redneck person I know. The redneck down your moon. That's what they are. Yeah. But here's the question. All over. How old are y'all? I'm 14. 14? Oh, 13. 13, okay. And this is just what y'all do, right? Yep. That's that ain't y'all. bad. Y'all were telling me all these that great... That ain't bad. It's not bad? I'm going to try one in a second. But y'all were telling me all these great stories on the way here. Now the lights and cameras are on, and y'all have got nervous. Well, you said you are going to ask us questions. <laughs> you don't like that? Hey, you got a problem. You got a problem. Oh, you, you, got a problem. Like uh, you got a problem with like a pump. Like what? Mexican food. Mexican what? food. It's all Mexican yeah. food. He's going to eat all of them by the time it's over. So not, you, God, when you're not is against that a this, challenge? You're not against this? Oh, that's pretty good. He did good. All right, I'm gonna do it. Is it, is it got a fishy taste? No, nope. got one. No, nope. really? I'm serious. Huh. Come on, John David. Mm -mm. Tastes amazing. Okay, uh, no fish. So just so y'all are aware, at all. I can't believe that. I've almost thrown believe up it. from eating a Vienna sausage. Try that, JD. Nice and spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, <God. laughs> Whoa. Oh, <God. laughs> oh, man. I don't, uh, it must be the text, hey. texture. It's a texture oh. thing for you, ain't it? No, it ain't nothing about the texture. Noah. No what are we doing, man? Bag. That tastes good. That was the saltiest, Salty. strangest thing I've ever had in my mouth. <laughs> Salt. That was. Ugh. Uh, let me ask you a question. There we go. <laughs> What's the worst bait you've ever used? Bass and drum. Bass. You use bass for a bait? Yes. Yes. Now we had an uncle that told us, "Hey, look, we were sailing, sailing the pond. We had perch, you know, and a lot of." Uh, Pot gut shiners is what we call them. Pot gut. Okay. He said, well, hey, we kept, we'd, we'd get all the perch out and put it in a number three wash tub with water in it, and we'd throw the, the shiners just out on the bank. You know? He said, y'all throwing the best part away. And I, we said, what are you talking about? He said, hey, what you need to do? He said, hey, look, go to the store, buy you a bag, a big bag of cotton balls. And them shiners you've been throwing away, Put them in a gallon jar, okay? Fill it full of cotton balls and put the lid on it. Leave it out in the sun for about a week. Mm. Boom. Catfish bait. It's catfish bait. So Did you look, know that? No. Try it. Yeah. You need to try that. We, we, we use like chicken livers. and That's a good bait. Blood bait. Straw, yeah. Strawberry. Pigs. Uh, sausage. Strawberry, strawberry sausage. sausage. Slim Jims is pretty like, good. We soak them in like strawberry Kool Aid. Slim Jims is a. Look off some nice catfish. Yeah, we use strawberry Kool Aid. <laughs> Y'all soak sausage in strawberry Kool Aid. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Is that worked? a real thing, Goblin? Yeah. It is. Yeah, we <laughs> call and Slim Jims. Some of them pro catfishermen put a piece of Slim Jim on the hook 
with skipjack when they're bumping. That's amazing. I shouldn't have said that. I'm going to get in trouble for that. That's, right. That's a pro tip. A, pro he tip let, from John. Oh, yeah. He let, he let a secret out right there. Yeah, I'll go try that. All right. Well, we're going to get your brother on and Craven on because they're kind of the, the entrepreneurial spirits. You two are the more redneck ones, and yeah. we're going to be yes. right back. Are they going to eat them things? Probably not. Probably not. So you brought them for us to eat, but you're not going to eat it. Yeah. That's what I did. <laughs> That's not like the usual garbals I've eaten. Oh, you've had other garbals? Yeah. Oh, I can that smell is, it. That is I can smell it. entirely different. Noah's dad I, made no those. Fish no. Taste, no fishy taste. None. None. I'm not for them. The texture, I'm a texture guy. Well, there we go. It's like CJ's a- CJ's digging it's in like a crab quickly. Cake. It's like a crab cake. We got two new guys in. Think? Craven's worried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man down. <laughs> This, this, right. this is, is looking good. Hey, right. Go to trash can outside. It's outside. We'll see you in a minute. Down outside. We lost one of our guys. Uh, we lost the hey. that guy's the Willie. I thought Cra he liked it. Craven here, here just eat, we. <laughs> Craven just ran out. Mm. Um he's gone. I don't know where he went. But we oh. still have uh. Carter. Nope, CJ. Y'all got to get CJ. different names. Yeah, I, I mess y'all's names up constantly. No, they're brothers, so I don't feel bad. Yeah. Hey. And they're basically twins. So, uh, CJ, you you're into Garballs? CJ, are you? So what's the deal? Like? What, why did you run out of here? Uh, Craven? Too, too many peppers in there. Too many peppers? Too many peppers, boy. It's hot. It, they're hot. Pretty spicy. It was very yeah, salty. What, to too much salt. They're a little bit spicy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, boy. Okay, so Craven and uh, CJ, y'all are the business-minded folks of this operation known as Gar Commanders, correct? Yeah. Correct. So, so tell us what y'all did. Um, we this ran a lemonade stand at Honey Hole. How uh, much money hmm. did you make? Uh, well, combined, probably a little bit over seven hundred dollars. They made seven hundred dollars. Uh, hey man, on a lemonade stand. Y'all buy any kind of tackle, fishing tackle with it? Oh yes, sir. That's what we used all the money for. I'm broke now. It's the best system I've ever made. They sell there you go. lemonade, and then they just give me all the money. It's awesome. Buying stuff. Buying stuff okay. for me. All right. So. Hey. So well, y'all got a good uh, business going there. I love it. So what yeah. gave you the idea of lemonade? Because kids in America these days do not participate in going outside or running lemonade stands. So and there's kids listening. So he's um, just crushing these garballs while we do this. <laughs> so um, <laughs> this is my last one. Okay, good because you're not allowed in my truck after this. And you're feeding them. So um the the idea that we got for doing a lemonade stand. So basically we were. Sitting down at his house uh, after we got done fishing or whatever we were doing. And we were talking about going to Honey Hole and buying something, me and him. And then, so I always have to borrow money from Noah and Carter and CJ because um, I'm kind of broke. So <laughs> yeah. I have to. In other words, you have hard, you have hard trouble hanging on money. Mm -hmm. He okay. spends it all. Okay. If he all gets right. 20 bucks, I'm getting 1995 of it. All right. All right. Look so, at that. Um, they're fired up about it. Good deal. We basically, we uh, we were like, you know what? Why don't we just go run a lemonade stand at the end of our neighborhood? Because that's where it first started. And we made exactly $121 off of it. And then I had the idea. I was like, why don't we go run it at Honey Hole and potentially make way more money? So about the next week, we go down to uh, we go down to Honey Hole and um. Started selling lemonade on the, uh, it was a Tuesday. Started selling lemonade and we made over $300 on the first day. On a Tuesday? And, and you, what was your job? Um, I think I was holding the sign. He was out by the street holding the sign. The sign. The sign. <laughs> hey, it was awesome though. And so, and y'all made a ton of money this summer and funded basically your whole fishing and gar adventures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. But anyway, these are the guard commanders. There's hope for America because we got kids running lemonade stands, hanging out in the woods. You know what my favorite part about them is, though? They're never fighting over money. It's like all four of them have this communal well, you jar. Have it. Well, yeah, that's true, too. But they all just share everything, and they're out fishing, and it's awesome to see. I love them, and they've always made me laugh. Well, more. I know why you love them. They spend yeah. all their money they make. It's your, your That's not over. the only reason I love them. <laughs> Quit eating that. You have hey. to ride back. I, said, I was right. getting one more. You said that was your hey. last one. But hey, they're a man. great group of kids. Hey, he actually likes them. Yeah, him he does. And, him and the big man. Godwin liked them, too. Hey. I ate three of them. Uh. 
All right, well, we're going to take a break. Maybe Martin will come back in and try Garball, but I doubt it. Oh, towels. I dried off one of them today. Uh, one yeah. of what? One of them my tiles. Did you, yeah. you like it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Were you dry? Yeah. It's the number one reason for dry skin. Towel. Towels. There you go. But you know what? If you really want to have your skin dry, get a my towel because they work better than them crappy towels you buy at the store. Mm-hmm. There you go. Look, I, I mean, really, why do people sleep at night that make a towel that won't dry you? Because there are some out there. They are. It, that's ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. But that's why Michael and Dale's always looking for ways to solve everyday problems. And he figured it out with the My Towels. He did. They will dry you. Look, that's the deal. You pick up this little soft set in the store. You're like, oh, man, I bet that thing be good. Mm-hmm. No, lies. It's all lies. But not you with the My rub. Towels. Huh? You got to rub and rub and rub and rub and rub. Yeah, and basically, then you just go air dry and call it good because you're tired of it. I Look. know Look, the six-piece my pillow towel sets have 100% long staple Shapur cotton. It is comb ring spun cotton that makes towels softer and more absorbent than ever. Towels that actually dry you. These towels will not easily peel or tear even after repeated washing and drying. They come in all the colors. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that mattered, but you know, once you get we married, got blue you figure that out. There you go. And we got tan ones. So I don't, you know, we got the white ones. Hey, and I got a blue robe. They- <laughs> <laughs> he does got that robe. Right. Nice. Uh, right. But look, right now you can receive a six piece my towel set for only twenty nine ninety eight. The my towels also come with a ten year warranty. Just go to mypillow.com slash duck right now and use promo code duck. The towels work. The robes are fantastic. Oh, the slippers! I got them pillars too. And there you go. Look, if 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 Mike makes it, we got it. We've tried it. We've used it, and we're all extremely happy with it. And look, it's Christmas time. Get the people the stuff that they want. Get, get them towels. Get them robes. Get them yep. slippers. Do all the things. That way, they can be cozy at home this winter. And. You know what? You're going to win some bonus points. But look, to receive this amazing offer of a six-piece set of MyPillow towels for only $29.98, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck. Go to MyPillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck. Or call 800-969-3137 to get your MyPillow towels today. That's MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck. Or call 800-969-3137. Hey, get yourself one of them soft, heavenly robes. That was the saltiest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Try it, Martin. I don't get that. Huh? Martin, no. Martin, why will you not try one? See, so I wouldn't try one. I ate Vienna sausage. So look, I stepped out. To let the guard commanders come in, which, by the way, I follow them on Instagram. I hope all y'all do. <laughs> I've liked a couple of their things. Um, guard balls, where are we at? <laughs> see, I ain't saying I'm against guard balls, but you while you while I was it. out, I had one of your young youths run by me to the trash mm-hmm. can. I I was before, and I was like, huh? And then I looked in the trash can and. I can only assume what was in there was garball from what I saw. Yep. And then I walked in here and the smell, I mean, I feel like I should just bite an onion. I mean, is that where we're at? Like, if, is it heavy if, onion, if you, heavy distraction? Mm-hmm. If you were to lick a fish, as I said, and then bite a raw onion. That's what you got. That's what you have. It. So you you have it. It. Yeah. There you go. See, I think I'm more along the South no Louisiana. The South Louisiana folks, when they make garballs, they smother them in like a gravy. We, we need and then gravy. you eat that over rice. Lots of distractions. I can get behind, but just, I mean, he went running past me. He was just like, following my lead. Like, oh, I, I, just, I must have just barely missed you then. Yeah, I, I no. tried one, and it wasn't, <laughs> what, weren't much. Yeah, their Instagram, a wild place to be, man. <laughs> they got one old boy, they blurred his face out. I guess they kicked somebody out the Rat Pack. But mm-hmm. uh, that might have been one that got in trouble or something. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. I'll try and keep him out of trouble too. He's grounded. Yeah, I saw it had a face scratched. I was like, well, I guess he got weeded out, but They're, the picture was worth mm-hmm. it. So. Their parents dropped him off, and, and and one of them, I'm not going to say whose mom said, just don't let them say anything incriminating uh, from like game violation standpoints. I said, no, they've never done anything. Yeah, there you go. And we'll edit it out if they mm-hmm. made a mistake. Well, there you go. It's fine. Yeah. Nah, it's, uh, you got to learn somehow. I mean, ain't no big deal. Yep. But. Um, well, I'm glad that y'all y'all went down that road. I hate I missed it, but you, I'll watch. No. You're not going to eat one? Not yet. Mm-hmm. If you're not eating one, I'm going to take them out of this room because oh. I can't handle the smell. Oh, well, by all means, okay. yes. Yes. Put put them in the warehouse. Did you eat them? Yeah. yeah. I ate three of them. 
What did it do? Just kickstart your appetite? Because now yeah, you're on a trail mix. I'm, I'm hard. I'm <laughs> hey, I'm about to dry up and blow away. Si, what would you think? Did you, did you try it? No. Oh, too old? Are you thinking Robertson's going to try something like that? When did you try it? A long time ago. And still, it stays with a man. He tried yeah. it back when he was poor and didn't like it. Yeah. You think yeah. he's going to like it yeah. now that he's got money? <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're I mean, exactly right. <laughs> that's what I'm right saying. Back in the day, that okay, yeah, I'll try them. Yeah, they didn't have nothing. Because I've actually been raised to, hey, whatever's put in front of you, eat it. Mm-hmm. And we, no. Uh, well, he's no. against that. He, he, he went back on that statement. Yeah. You may want to have me have my man not come running past me. I don't know. I, I think know, you should try it. But there was almost a head-on collision out there as yeah, I was I hauling him. boxes to the dumpster. Yeah, and he it, was headed towards the trash can. But of all the kids that had to run out, he was like the most willy of them. He was the lemonade guy. He's He, he ain't well, I asked him, I quite said, as redneck as the rest of them. What made you get up and take off? He said, it's hot. It's hot? Too many uh, peppers. Spicy? Mm-hmm. Are they spicy? They are. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> To each his own, man. I'm I'm just glad that we can celebrate young entrepreneurship. All right, that's there. it. So I, try, I, I will say. always give up my chair mm-hmm. for I young gave, entrepreneurs to come sit in. And I, I can gave, assure you I that. I gave them some advice since you said you didn't like hot lemonade. I said, boys, put ice in it next time. It's, well, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. There was a lot of things. There were a lot of things wrong with that lemonade, but well, they, they, they but they were trying. JD. Yeah. He's coaching them. Yeah. And, hey, we, we've made an adjustment on it. Yeah, more lemon. Yeah. You know, a little they more They tried sugar. to skimp on the powder. Yeah. They had no yeah. ice. Saving money. Uh, and here I am paying $10. Yeah. Yeah. The but, ice, you know what? I don't care. You didn't ask for change. The ice had melted because it was 115 degrees out. Oh, yeah. It's well, poor hey, look, you got to keep ice in it. Boy. Yeah. Hey, got to keep ice in it. Y'all sell ice, don't you? Yeah, there was a huge ice machine right beside them. That's what I'm talking we about. We probably should have looked more into that. That's what I'm talking You should have mm. traded them three bags of ice for your own good. I, for- I I bought like five cups of lemonade that day. <laughs> the early lemonade was pretty good. It was as the day progressed. Oh, they didn't they didn't prepare. Yeah. Yeah, and when I got it, it was kind of like yellow water, <laughs> which is pretty much West Monroe water anyway. Yeah, you don't know. It just had a little tang to it. Instead of that kind of oomph. You but, never know with West Monroe water if yeah, it's lemonade just, or if it's water. Lemonade, urine, paper mill. Like, it's just never, it's, it's always suspect. But, hey, they was out there in that heat selling it. They were. Making money. They wasn't, like well, I said. Well, two of them were. Two One of, of them was inside eating Johnny's Pizza when I got there. Uh-oh. So. But, but the Craven and uh, CJ were the actual main Lemonade salesman. So the, other, the other two are still fishing. I can see that the honey hole sponsored their tops. <laughs> that's for sure. They just showed up. That's, I uh, didn't even ask them to do that. <laughs> they just showed up. They're my boys. Yeah. We rolled deep. Hey, they understand the world of the gram. We're, Where are you sponsors? Yeah. Put them out there. Son. We're all in the same neighborhood every day together. Yeah. No, there that's good. Go. I have taught them to close the honey hole, though. Oh. I mean, I do feel like they're probably my future workforce, and I can count on them to be there because they live, you know. And you'll always get your money back. Yeah, and it just I mean, that's the best part. But like, they used to, when the school would get out and it was just me up there, I'd be like, they'd show up and be like, help me close, and you get a discount. Mm. So you're Willie? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hired his youth group, yeah. to help run Duck Commander, then play poker with him on Friday night, got all his money back yep. every yep. Friday. Yep. And then you see what he did with it. So there you go. There you go. Mm. Oh, Robbing boy. America's youth. I love it. That's I'm good. not. No, I'm, I'm encouraging kidding. them to get outside and teach them about economics. I'm kidding. They give you. They give you money. You give them a product. That's fine. I forgot to ask them if they believed in Black Panthers. Wow. Raise your hands quick. One. Black Panthers real? Yeah. There you go. All four. Oh wow. They're believers. He's got a story. <laughs> Well, if there was ever four guys I would say are on brand for Cy Robertson's clientele, I would. Yeah, I'd be it. Yeah. I found them. Dean. They did say he was right their favorite. Who, yeah. Cy? Oh, for sure. Well, absolutely. Yeah. He's my favorite, too. I mean, no offense to you boys <laughs> or myself. None taken. I yeah. like him more than me, like, too. <laughs> yeah, if I had to have dinner with me or Cy, I'd pick Cy. I mean, Every it's, time. it's fine. Like, that ain't a big okay, deal. Look at him over there. Chug, chug, chug. He washing down them chocolate covered chairs. Hey, I'll get that guard ball is going to stay with me. Anyway, well, let's on. take, I guess we're taking another break. Yeah, take, I, we'll do, uh, we'll kind of out of sorts here. So, who knows yeah. where we're at, but we're yeah. going to do emails next. All right, perfect. We'll be back right after this. That works. You must have a bunch of them. All right, Dan. All right, we're back. 
Hello at duckcallroom.com. That's the inbox. Johnny D is frantically scrolling through it currently. Not I'm really. Re- he I'm was ready reading. Today. I could see he was reading. Did we get any Gar Commander emails? I got some messages on uh, Instagram saying, who was that y'all said follow? I, I brought them. them. I brought them today. I told them at Gar Commanders, West Monroe, or whatever it is. We have one. What? It says equals Mega Gar. Because that's the funniest part to this whole thing to me. Mega we, Gar. We call everything a Gar that's awful. And then these guys are like, we're going for them. So, yeah. Well, um, hey, stand out. Like, hey. in a world that you could be anything, be yourself. They're boys. all high over there right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, heck yeah. But Abe from Oregon emailed in, and he said, not being allowed to pump gas equals mega gar. And I was like, I don't even know what that means. Mm, me either. He wants our opinion on Oregon's law making it so you can't pump your own gas. He b- personally finds it pretty silly, but... It would be fun to hear our thoughts. Why? I don't know. Oregon, Oregon's close to Canada. Is that a thing? Is that a northern thing, Beth? Beth's looking at me dirty right now. I'm sorry. I don't get it. Why I, can't you pump your own gas? Doesn't New Jersey have laziness? The same law? Yeah, New Jersey has the same thing. Yeah. Why? New Jersey has the same law. Do they? All right, Josh. You see, you, you're nodding in agreement, or <laughs> at least you're at least nodding. Why? Is that his name? Yeah, well, big hair. Big hair is what we call him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but his, his, his given his given name is Josh. Well, as you say, <laughs> potentially big hair, dangerous. I, I think is what they say. You know, like you're not a trained professional. You know, I will say that I've run across people that I'd be scared to let them pump their own gas. Hmm. You know. Oh I mean, wait, now I'm reading it, and apparently Oregon just let them let them start pumping their own gas. They let them go back. Yeah, so they went back. But I'll say this: I went on a date with a girl in high school and she was about out of gas and i said you want to pull over and get gas and she said i don't know how and i said you're you're driving this car how do you not i'm confused and yeah. it's it's okay she's definitely not listening she doesn't know how to pump her own gas this isn't the show for her oh, but wow. she went to like the one place in town where they, they pump your gas for you which, back in the day I mean, back in the day, yeah. 2005. Yeah. They used to have self-service. 1951 was when that was. Full service. But people in Oregon don't They lifted their own the gas. band that was established before so, 51. convenience stores up north don't have gas pumps? They do, but they have to have a person to pump it for you. Well, just in New Jersey, apparently. But Oregon before from the yesterday. Store, from the store? Hmm. If you I can't, wonder if you got a dollar more an hour for that. I mean, I don't mind the pay. thought of somebody pumping my gas if it's a legitimate service like that. Yeah, but, you're going to claim my windshield. Yeah, check yeah, my, yeah. like check my tire pressure yeah. and all that yeah. stuff yeah. like yeah. they used to do back on Andy Griffith. Oh, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's fine. But just because you don't want to get out or. If yeah. you bought gas, that was part of the service that went with it. Yeah, you got uh, it Wash all. your windshield wipers, you know, check your tire pressure. Yeah. Well, my Thank truck y'all. cuts off at $100. It's, the machine just stops. And so I believe I deserve somebody to do something. <laughs> at least give me a high five and a hug for yeah, breaking I, me. But huh. yeah, That's just weird that the government would say you can't do that. Yeah. That's, that's one. Of, there's a lot of other things I think we should probably say well, you can't do. Well, they had do. a lot of hand but, injuries back then. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Do they spill the gas? Or maybe they're smoking while they do it. I mean, that's dumb. I don't know. Like, I've, seen, I don't, I've seen that before. Yeah. It's a weird yeah. thing. I don't know. People smoking and pumping gas? Yeah. Willie doesn't turn his car off, and it makes me mad. He said they don't do it in NASCAR. <laughs> Every right. time, I'm like, you're supposed to turn your car off. He's like, they nah, don't do it in NASCAR. I don't turn mine off. If Paul is in the car. That's a rule, nah, If I do it. I don't know why it's a rule. So you can pump your car while it's running? Put yeah, gas in it? yeah well, you can, but I can. I know. How I think do. the one issue it's that happens. It's a happened, special thing that you got to do. I think they say keep like your though, car running. If you're super low on gas and you do that, leave it running. You you could vapor lock your engine or something or your tank or something I too. Know. I ain't getting gas. To so pull, I'm but, five miles to empty. Oh no, no. See, yeah, you got it. Goes through a lot of fuel pumps, mm-hmm. getting all that trash in there. That, that's why well, won't this thing mm-hmm. run? Nah, my truck <laughs> runs fine. All right, Kyle, thirty years old. Uh, lower New York State. Lower, lower. So the the bottom part of it. Um, he's been hunting all of his life. Uh, well, but he really s- step it up back around the twenty twenties, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Year that everybody was just outside. We were off. All right. Yeah. Um, so he, he's gone turkey hunting. No luck. Small game hunting. Slightly better. 
Hunting whitetails, absolutely no luck. Mm. Mainly hunts on state land because uh, it's a little tough, he says. So, but his question is this. How do you deal with the discouragement when it comes to hunting? He's discouraged. He ain't killing nothing. Oh. Well, he got a, he got a scout. Yeah, yeah, the more time you spend in the woods, the better yeah. you get at your craft. But how I deal with it, like this weekend, duck hunting was pretty pitiful. Was overall. it? Overall, I mean, you know, we killed them. But, like, it's teal and shovelers and stuff that don't really work. They just kind of fly, and the ones that want to come in, they'll come in. They don't, they don't. But not my kind of duck hunting. I don't enjoy that. So you just don't go. <laughs> when you know it's not going to be any good. Just don't you just go. don't go. But so here's his problem though. He's out here fighting public land, so it ain't never gonna be Yeah. That'll never be empty. But like if you're on public land, then I would probably go on the days when most people wouldn't go. To learn to blow a duck call, I had my mom drop me off at the sanctuary every day. I know I can't hunt there, but I went and listened to wild ducks every day. Did just you listen. really? Yes, absolutely. I've never heard this. Yeah. Story. How old were you? I was eleven. Teachers say it all. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Just more time. Immerse Hold yourself on. in yeah. it. No, we got to go back to this. What? You got to pay the price. That's amazing. Uh, so at 11 years old, I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. I knew like your parents thought, hey, we're going to keep him hunting yeah. to keep him out of trouble. Yeah, which I is kind of what our friend Cigar Commander's parents are like, hey, send them to the woods. Right? Amen. There you go. But I did not have a clue that at 11 years old, you're just sitting on the banks of the sanctuary. Uh-huh. Yeah, at the lookout deal out there at uh, Darbon Bayou, where the where you could overlook the bean How long would she field. drop you off for? She'd come out and give me a dart. I mean, I wouldn't do it, nothing. I'd just sitting there listening to ducks. I had my duck call with me. Walking around. I had my duck call, and I was just sitting there listening. Then I, I, you know, I was real quiet. I was like shy, like I was going to embarrass myself in front of the ducks or something. <laughs> I don't know. But I just was like, huh? then I'd try it, and they, they'd all get quiet. And I was like, no, that wasn't it. And I tried again. Once they got back to chat, that ain't it. And then one day, and they they did it back to me. And I said, okay, we're on to something. Yeah. We're getting there now. Yeah. You might. Sal, your mic's gone. Yeah. You drinking that tea? They're actually fun to watch. Okay, because, I mean, they're very playful. Yeah, they have a good time. I mean, they have a good time. Yeah, when there's no pressure on them and they're just being yeah. ducks, yeah. they're they're a really interesting animal to watch. To watch, right? yeah. You know how when you get in a swimming pool and somebody splashes you? Uh huh. Ducks started that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just interesting. That the fact that you were eleven, just sitting there honing, and which is why you are one of the better probably duck callers on earth. No, nah, well, he's no. good. No, I'm decent. He, I mean, he's I'm, good. I'm decent. Yeah, I'm not great. Like I, I've I've hunted with people who are great. I'm not that's, great. Well, that's like okay. Like Phil, being, Rob, Phil Robertson is great. I'm, but you're in like probably the top two hundred human beings on killing ducks. Yes, competition. No, on duck calling. Well, I, to duck. kill them. Hey, yeah. when you go, okay, like you know, duck calling championship. That ain't okay. real. That's they do stupid. things. Okay, they do things. Okay, that a duck don't do. But their air pressure and control and it's, what they can do with a single yeah, reeded is, instrument yeah. is nothing short of impressive. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, no, the no, same thing goes with shoot. Do it a lot. Okay. I I know people that they are champion skeet shooters. Yeah. They don't miss. They can't hit a duck with a bull in the base, you know, a base fiddle. Yeah, they're definitely ragged at it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you Now say? this is a man that, that shoots skeet. And wins all the championships. That's because he busts, it's muscle memory. He busts them all. He knows when that thing's no, going no. off. Yeah. It's coming across yeah. that fast. Boom. Get him in a duck line. And and he's hey, like, oh. First I, 10 ducks she shot at, miss. Mm-hmm. Totally different thing. It is. Yeah, totally different. Yeah. So that's what that's why Martin, what he said was key. Hey, you got to put the time in. Yeah. Immersion. And that doesn't mean hunting necessarily. Yeah. yeah. Just be out there yeah, with them. Be in it mm. and learn learn from them. Absorb learn your it. critter. Yeah. Learn their habitat. Yeah. Learn everything. Well, that's like deer, okay? I probably deer are the are one of the most camouflaged animals that I think I've ever seen. Them camo deer. Because if when they're standing still They hard to see. You don't see them unless they move. 
But, oh, serious. You don't see them unless they move. But that principle outside of hunting can be taken in any point of life. Yeah. Do you want to get better at being a Christian? Read your Bible every day. Hello. You want to get yeah. better at cooking? Cook. Yeah, You cook. want to get better? Like, do all the things. Yeah. Just keep going. Just keep going. You got to put the time put in. Put the time yeah, in. That's what Paula said. She looked at me the other day and said, is that grill, bro? I, no. I said, I don't think so. I love, I love hey, yeah, let, me, let me show you how to turn it on. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Johnny D, send us out of here. With send a Bible, us out buddy. of here. Here's one for for the Gar Commanders themselves. Proverbs twelve twenty seven. The lazy do not roast any game, but the diligent feed on the riches of the hunt. Get out there in the woods and on the water and just keep going, and you'll get better at it, Kyle. We're out. We'll see y'all next time. Uh, uh,